Hi, I'm Mike Elder from the Fender Custom Shop. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about some of the guitars that are coming out of the shop right now. This being one of them, this is a um, Andy Summers Tribute Telecaster. It's a really, really cool guitar. It's an exact reproduction of Andy's personal instrument that he's been playing with the police forever. And um, it has a great story about this guitar. Um, the guitar is a real interesting guitar. To me, it's one of the best sounding instruments that, that uh, has ever come out of the Fender Custom Shop because there's so many different sounds that come out of it. And um, it's been exciting to work with Andy and um, just be part of uh, the historical um, impact that he's had on music and to be able to, to part, partner with him on that has been a real pleasure. So let's dig into this guitar because it's a, it's a really neat guitar. It's a great package that comes with a guitar and there's a, like I said, a really beautiful story about this guitar too. So the guitar, um, is an exact reproduction of Andy's guitar. We went to Andy's place and we took the guitar apart and you know Andy, it was so funny, we sat down with Andy and, at an AM show and um, I, I cornered him and I said, let's do the telly and he said, why would anybody want this guitar? And, and, and um, he just couldn't get that, that uh, this guitar is iconic and um, it, it was responsible for a lot of the, the tones that went into the police records and um, that's uh, why we wanted to do it. So he was very honored about it, and um, there's just a lot going on with the instrument. Andy got the guitar from one of his guitar students years ago, and when he bought the guitar, everything that you basically see on the guitar is the way he got it. I think he might have changed some, a few things, but generally the electronics, which we'll get into, and everything else about the guitar was exactly how he bought it, and he bought it for about 200 bucks, and um, it became part of the... Uh, police, um, part of their sound, and um, uh, a big part of that is a lot of what's going on in here. Um, the biggest part of that is Andy's hands himself, but but um, a big part of the sound of the guitar is what's going on in here, and I just want to get into that. Um, the guitar has a nice slim shape. It's um, a, a slim C shape. It has um, uh, regular Fender fret wire on it. And um, the thing that's been modified about the guitar is the wiring that's been in here and then also the humbucking pickup that's been put in the front. The humbucking pickup in the front is a real neat sounding gu guitar pickup. For the front pickup, you can do a lot of... You get all that stuff, that really nice chunky rhythm stuff. The solo parts. Kind of cool sound, a little different than the regular telly, but it, it's 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 um, very usable. Um, both pickups together. Um, the back pickup is more of a, it's kind of like a, um, I guess like a late '60s pickup, telly pickup. Play on the back pickup here in a set for a second. Very cool sounding guitar, um, kind of. Handles the chords really well, and then when you get both pickups together, real interesting sounding telly. Um, it's got uh, some bottom end that a normal telly doesn't have in that position. So for that aspect, it's a real simple Telecaster sounding uh, guitar. Volume, tone. And um, it has this brass bridge on it, and if you can look real close, I don't know if you can get this, this close zoom in on here, there's a little crack right there. And every single one of these things makes the same little bing, 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 bing sound. There's a little crack right there, and the pickup is actually mounted right into the wood. That's, that significantly changes the tone of the, of the back pickup when you do that. The pickup is normally mounted with these little holes here on rubber grommets and screws. And this, is, this pickup was screwed right into the wood with the brass bridge, the brass saddles, which they didn't make anymore, so we had to have all this made. We had to bust all these in the right place, and it just adds to the sound of the pickup. Anyway, so you got a real great sound telly. Back pickup. Both pickups. Front pickup. Fair enough. Now this is where it starts getting complicated. Um, 
the wiring that's inside of this, there's two switches here. There's a switch here and a switch here. This switch turns on a preamp. And this knob adjusts how much gain goes to that preamp. And I'll play that for you right now. So here's the front pickup without the preamp. Front pickup with the preamp. There's a significant boost there. And what happens now, when you kick that preamp in, you can add gain. So now listen to the chord as I, as I turn the volume up. sudden you get this, this overdrive now out of the whole system. That preamp is across everything. So the front pickup is a really cool sounding pickup alone, but now when you have the preamp in, a lot of different sounds out of the guitar. Um, now you turn the knob, the tone knob on. A lot of really cool blues sounds you can get out of it. Old blues records sound a lot, a lot like that because um, you have that overdrive. Now that's with the gain knob all the way off. So if I can turn that up, you really get a lot of gain out of the guitar. And um, it's just a really neat sounding guitar. So in all positions, so that's the front pickup. Now with both pickups on with the preamp on. great teletones, now they have this, this overdrive to it, and once again, you can really add in a lot of gain if you wanted to. Now the back pickup with the preamp on, a real usable sound, and once again, And this is just through a small amp, so you know that you can get a lot of really cool sounds out of it. Now here's the thing that's really cool. You have this other switch still. And this is the best part about this guitar, I think. I'm going to turn the preamp off and I'm going to show you what this other switch does. This switch is an out-of-phase switch. The out-of-phase switch doesn't do anything unless you have both pickups on. And then what it does is it takes the, the both pickups and flips them out of phase. In phase. Out of phase. An out of phase sound is a real um, kind of hollow sound. Um, T-Bone Walker used to get a lot of out of phase sounds in his stuff. But what the out of phase sound does, and you'll see right here, the volume of the whole gain structure of the guitar drops. And so now, kick in the preamp with the out of phase sound and you get this really cool sound. And then if you turn the gain up, the little gain knob on there while you got all this going, I'm probably gonna clip the camera, but I don't care. Killer sounding guitar. There's so many different sounds you can get out of this guitar. I mean, aside from the fact that it's, you know, a personal instrument, a reproduction of a personal instrument of, of uh, you know, a great guitarist like Andy Summers, from a, a player's aspect, there's so much going on with this wiring and the whole layout of the guitar. There's no wonder that Andy just grabbed this thing and just said, wow, this is great. And he just adapted it to the police's music. So that's what's going on with the wiring and everything. There's all kinds of this panel stuff, just like his guitar. Everything is just like his guitar. They're all master built. It's a great little package that comes with it, too. Um, this is some of the stuff that goes along with it. You get a DVD interview with Andy Summers. Um, talking about the guitar, talking about his book. You get a, a message in a box 
uh, box set of all the police's music. Um, it's really, really cool. Um, and then the thing that's really kind of cool about it is you get this book, One Train Later, by Andy Summers. Um, and it's, it's, um, it's a cool book that Andy's written about his uh, time with the police. Um, there's a nice shot of the guitar on the back with Andy. And um, these are hand-signed, each one of them. And it's, it all comes in the package. It's really kind of a cool package. You get this anvil case. And it's just part of a really neat package uh, that comes with a guitar. So you get a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, the other thing that I wanted to show you, when we do tribute guitars, um, we've, we've done a bunch. We've done a Jeff Beck Esquire. We've done um, you know, the Rory Gallagher. We've done a, a Muddy Waters. Um, we've done Lenny. We've done Blackie. We do these tribute guitars, and it's really becoming what the Fender Custom Shop is really well known for. Um, I just wanted to show you a little bit of behind the scenes. And when, it goes, when we go into making something like this, it's not just, hey, take a picture of that and go make it. We really need to go through and, and sit down with the artist and say, OK, how does this work? Show us how this works. And then we make stuff, and we send it to the artist. And it, it may not be exactly what he wants. And we go back and forth and, and try to, to dial it in and hone it all in to exactly what, it, what the original instrument is. So let me show you what um, this started off to be. And this is something that Dennis Galuska, you can see that this is what we call a mule. Um, it's the very first attempt at working with this um, circuitry um, with some different pickup designs. And, um, you know, obviously this wasn't what it was going to be. This is just, we put these controls in here just because we wanted to see how it would work. Um, and then we would send this over, we sent this over to Andy and Andy played it. And he said, let's, let's tweak the, uh, the preamp a little bit. Let's, let's change the pickup here and do this and do that. And, we ended up doing all that, but I just wanted to show you kind of what it starts out starts out being. It's not just a, hey, let's make a guitar and uh, it come out like this. So a lot, a lot goes into it. Um, but that's what it is, Andy Summers Tribute Telly. A lot going on with this guitar. Um, it's a great sounding guitar. And like I said before, I think it's one of the best sounding guitars that's ever come out of this shop because it's so versatile. Um, and that's it. And I, I hope you guys like it. And continue to watch us do these because they're a lot of fun to do. A lot of hard work though too. Mm -hmm.